Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of What a Horse and Got big Jerry Williams with us. Yes. You ready for a celebration? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. You ready to do your job? I'm ready to do my job. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I will come back after these commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on Brain Power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Doe Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Ali Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Ali Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee walking horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 68 845915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Tell you what, Jerry, every year people, when they go, that like this year, we're looking at all the splits. But before we go to that, I'm going to put a little tag on a couple of things. A lot of people are wanting their horses to, uh, some of the horses don't make the performance, 
they're wanting them trained to be trail horses. Yeah. And I ran across a young man and his son, Justin Todd and his boy, that could flat, that these guys do a great job. They really do. A lot of trainers are moved, taking horses to them to train for the trail. We got a little yeah. video of, now that's Justin's son. And that, notice, no bridle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No bridle on that horse. That just shows that the, the Tennessee walking horse, you can do just about anything you want. And you may not believe it, but uh, they know a guy that's got a stud by mud, uh, mud slide slim. Okay. And said he's a small stud, but they're thinking very seriously. He's 30 something, but 20 something years old. Gonna breed this mare to him. Mm hmm. I told him I said, can't go wrong there. No, you can't. But that, that's what this, this mare right here without a bridle. And they've got different ones that they're that they're doing. They do different things. They teach them the obstacles, which I think is fantastic. The different ones that they can teach, but it's the things they do, just that. I don't know. It's it just it, it's nice to know there's somebody that they do this. Yeah. Rather than regular training like you do, because a lot of people. I mean, they they got to stop and look. If you take these horses through the woods enough, you're gonna you're gonna get them to where they got a good gait. Oh yeah. And I can tell you right now, uh, Justin is, is a great guy to talk to. You can reach him at nine three four nine three one four three four eight four two zero. Just give him a call. Ask him if he's got room. Now he's pretty packed right now. You got a lot. But, you have to have a lot of patience, and oh, you know yeah. it takes a special well, person to do that. And they like they doing yeah. It takes, takes mm -hmm. a lot of time to just go through it and get it done. And, and they, they seem to have different techniques yes. that they do. Mm -hmm. He showed me a bunch of it. It's pretty, pretty neat. Another thing, everybody talks about when you go to the celebration, you go down and get the donuts. Yes. Well, me, I'm big on the VFW. Me too. And I mean, you're talking about food. Now, the VFW club, you can get beans and cornbread, steak dinners, grilled cheese, you name it, and you cannot go to another place that serves everything and the quality food that the VFW does. In my opinion, and you probably don't count a lot, that's about the best places on the celebration. I can't wait for that every hey, year. Every year I look forward to I it. And this year, on the first Saturday night before the studs, we got the Flat River Band's going to be playing right beside them. So just think, people walk up there and listen to some good music, get and them some fantastic food, yes, food right. and then go in and watch the greatest horse ever live. You are exactly right about That's, that. Now we got we got some splits that uh, we're going. There's 11 splits this year. Now I want to I want to know what you think about them. We got two year old Marion Gilded, A and B. Owner amateur two year old Stallions. Owner amateur novice riders on novice all day pleasure horses. Owner amateur novice lady riders on novice mares and gildings. Three year old walking stallions A, B, and C. What do you think? That's pretty good. I mean, that's 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 a good deal right there. We, we got a lot of different ones. We got a lot of different I mean, ones. We, we got places. a lot. Of, got a lot of good three-year-olds. Yes. We're going to be showing a bunch of them next week as contenders, but there's some there's a good, good pretty three nifty three-year-olds out there. Then you got three-year-old walking mares. That's A and B. Yes. Owner amateur two-year-old mares and gildings A and B. Then you got the two-year-old walking stallions A, B, and C. One of them, they're putting all the futurity nominated in one place. That's, and you got one yeah, going in mm -hmm. that class. Uh, and I like that right there. Oh, I do too. I, I, like I think it. all the fraternity should be in one class. class. Yeah. Because it's, uh, I've talked to Mark about it and everything and different people. I'm just, we, we got a lot of good two year olds. Yes, we got a lot of good two year olds. I've been watching a mm -hmm. bunch, and some of them are still selling. Yes. Right before the celebration, they're selling. Uh, owner amateur, three year old Marin Gildan, two ways. Owner amateur, four year old Marin Gildan. A and B, and class 140 is owner amateur three-year-old stallions, A and B. So uh, 
I'm surprised that the owner amateur three-year-old stallion is not three-way. Because there's a lot of yeah, good amateurs. It is. You, you have a lot of them. You know that as well as I do. All right, yeah. now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the, on the hook here. In your opinion, mm -hmm. what's the best three-year-old stallion you've seen this year? You ain't going to make nobody mad. I like the horse Knox shows for Bruce McDonald. <laughs> right there, Section A from last year. <laughs> yeah. That's 2021. Now that's section eight. <laughs> but I like the the horse of Bruce McDonald's. The I do Knox, too. I like I'll be honest. I, I, really, I, I, really, think I really like that horse. I love that horse. He's he's a great horse. Uh, and I said at the first of the year that to win it, someone's gonna have to beat Knox Black. Yeah. That's right. I like I like him. And then we got two-year-olds, and we, we're seeing some good two-year-olds yes, now. Yes, you have seen some good two-year-olds. Jim really McConnell two come in there on one that I hadn't seen, Chapaca. Yeah. And I found really out good. a few minutes ago, it sold. Yeah. So now we got new owners. Bobby and Bobby Jones and Dr. Richards owned it. Now the Shermans own it. Yeah. So you got that. But now when it comes to two-year-old studs, I don't think we've seen them. Well, I know we haven't seen them all. No. I know that. And we're going to see some good ones when the celebration time oh, comes. Yeah. We're going to see some good studs come in there, two-year-old studs. Now, your your stake horses, that, to me, that's a flip of a coin. We don't know who all is going to be in that yet. i tell you, this past weekend, i seen three good stake classes, you know, three good horses. But now I like... Russ horse Saturday night now. Uh, that that's just my opinion. He put on show. Uh, he put on, yeah, show, he put on show Saturday night. That's about one of the best I've ever seen that horse in the show ring was Saturday night. Well, he he made a good show. I've seen Mark One make yeah. a great show. Uh, I've seen some of these others. I, I've we got a four year old that stepped up. Oh yeah. I mean, he he he's done great stepping up into the limelight, and he's won two state classes. Yeah. So. Uh, we don't know. It may happen again this year. You never know. It might. And then in the four-year-old division, well, we've got one that's returning this year. Yeah. Old Troubadour. Now, he missed his three-year-old year, but a lot of people are pointing to him. But then again, you got the Jimmy yeah. on Switchblade. Then here comes Kobe. Kobe. So, uh, and yeah. there's some other good ones. You got R.M.? Yeah. R.M. Kelly. Oh. You can't. You can't. Count that horse That's out. Right. He, he, he is consistent. Yeah. And there's a dark horse out there too. Zaro Jr. Yes. Is a dark horse. Uh huh. He, uh, to me, he does a great job. Yeah. So. So I mean, you have a good class. They have, you know, they have some good, interesting classes at the celebration. It's gonna be a lot of. I think this one won when that one gonna win, and I think that one should have won when that one did win. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it simply because of the the quality of the horses we have this year. I tell you what, the judges that have a hard job this year. That's it. They're picking we all we won't see a whole lot of unanimous, no, I bet. They have a hard they have a hard job there. All right, let's go to the summer uh, no, we've got an interview. That's what we've got. Warren Wells, CEO of the celebration, we've got an interview right now. And I'm here at the celebration grounds with CEO Warren Wells and we're gonna go over the eighty fourth Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Warren, I appreciate you being with us today. And uh, to be honest, a lot of people looking forward to this one. Yeah, yeah, well, well th thanks for having mm -hmm. me. Uh, as, as always, I appreciate it. It's always good to talk about what we have coming up. Um, you know, in my opinion, the, the excitement level is up. Um, you know, we, when I came in last year, I, I tried to figure out, you know, how to read what the celebration is gonna look like. How do we start knowing if we're gonna be a, a big show or not? Uh, and my opinion is it's, it's three things that we kind of look at. You know, what, where are the box seat sales? What, what, what are those looking like? Um, what are entries uh, looking like? And um, what are the shows leading up to us? You know, what, what are their entries kind of kind of been like? Where, where's that excitement? And um, you know, so the shows leading up to here have been great. Uh, pe people are loving it. Um, some of the best show season we've had in a, in a long time. I keep hearing. Uh, and then last year, box seats were. Uh, I think you've heard me say it, we're just astronomical. I mean, they, there was a huge jump in box seat sales. So I was a little nervous to see, you can only grow so much year after year. Right. And so when you have that kind of big jump, 
uh, you're wondering what this year is going to look like. And uh, we came out of the gate up over last year every month, and we've continued every month uh, to be over where we were last year. So I anticipate that we're going to have good crowds again this year, maybe bigger than last year. Uh, you know, COVID started hitting us pretty hard, and, and it definitely did hit the, the, you know, our industry hard. Uh, last year. And then the last thing is entries. So uh, the deadline was yesterday, uh, entry deadline, you know, it was at five o'clock yesterday. So we don't know exactly where we are on entries. Uh, a lot of people think at 5.05 we, we know exactly where we are. I wish we did because I'd sleep a lot better last night if I, if I knew that. But uh, the team was working until 10 or 11 o'clock last night, uh, counting those and making sure they're right and, uh, and getting those numbers. So we'll, we'll know pretty soon. But, uh, and I hate to say, you know, use anecdotal information, but anecdotally, when I was in the office and I would stop by and see people and just see, you know, how many entries are you doing? Uh, almost everyone had more entries this year than last. Everybody uh, I've talked to have said that. Yeah, so that's, that, that's a great sign. It, it's, it's not scientific, but uh, it's, it's about as good as we're gonna get right now. And so I, I'm excited about that. I, and with entries being up so much last year and the fact that it seems like most of the people I'm talking to have more, uh, I feel great about it. Well, I know a lot of people, and, and myself included, uh, I've never entered a horse at the celebration okay. because I never thought I had one that was good enough to compete. This year I do. So, so, I'm, 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 so you, I'm, I'm, I jumped in, so I know you're up one. Yes, I yeah, know that. 100% yeah, increase right here, so we'll take it. 100% <laughs> increase on me. But a, a lot of people I've talked to are really looking forward to Jerry Williams got two lead line going. Mm, I awesome. mean, and, and he talks, we talk about the tough classes. He, that's the toughest one in the bunch. Yes, yeah, yeah. But, but there's a lot of competition this year, and that's something that is real exciting. There's no clear cut, I'm the one out yeah. here that anybody has seen. Yeah. Uh, old Troubadour showed up the other night, of course, that got everybody, you know, yep, up. Yep. But when you look at that class and how many good ones are in there, you, you got some of these guys have, have taken them four year olds into the state class, so. I mean, it, it's it's going to be something. Yeah, it really. Is. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be it's going it's going to be an exciting year. Well, also y'all have done a lot of improvement on the grounds. Yes. I've seen the David Howard entrance out here, but there's other yeah. things that yeah. y'all done. Um, and and some of it some of it has happened. Uh, just uh, you know, circumstances kind of came up, and then other things have been. Uh, you know, me and the board have been. Uh, full steam ahead on uh, we, we want our customers, we want our sponsors, we want our supporters to know you know we, we are not sitting stagnant, we are moving forward, uh, and we're going to do everything we can. And so um, yeah, so we have so several projects we have going on. Uh, we had a storm come through and hit three of our uh, three of our barns and there was a, luckily it was the old barns. Uh, so we got a little bit of insurance money and so we sat down with the board and thought, you know the insurance money is not going to pay to replace everything. Uh, it, it would you know barely replace one barn, but we wanted to build all three of them back. And so we tore down three barns and we're building three brand new barns back. Um, there were people, you know, they're not, a lot of people were thinking that uh, we have three new barns completely, but they, people were in those barns last year, they got torn down, and so we're, we're, we're going to figure out how to, how to do those. Um, another, uh, you know, weather thing that happened, uh, a lot, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but we had a huge sinkhole form in center ring this year. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm, I'm taking a person out there to look at, uh, at mowing our grass for this year and, and, uh, and, and who's going to spruce up the center ring and there's a huge hole out there. Um, and so we, we looked at, we, we got it filled up and we don't have any long-term issues with it, um, but then we had to replace the sod. And um, you know, over over the over time, sod mutates and the genetics right. change. So it was impossible for us to match that sod. Um, and so we had to go. We 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 made the decision that we're not going to have uh, one part of the grass look different right. than the rest. We changed the whole thing out. I don't blame you. It looks like a like a baseball field out there. It is coming in nicely. It's striped. Um, and I think it's small things like that. When you're sitting in the stands and that turf is going to be perfectly uh, uniform, it's going to be striped like a baseball field. You know, this is this is this is our this is a world class horse show, and and we're going to invest in it for that. Um, we talked about the David L. Howard um, uh, gate. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, it, it looks awesome. It, to me, it reminds me of like a like a small uh, college baseball stadium or something. It, it definitely, uh, it, again, is, is great for our world class horse show. Um, and so that we're thankful for the Howard family uh, to, to to make that contribution uh, to, to the celebration. But those are those are kind of the the, the big things that, that we have we have going on right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you in all honesty, I, I knew David. David was one of the main reasons I was on the showground video and he and I had a lot of great conversations but the things he did for this industry that a lot of people may know or may not know yeah 
that right there is, is in his honor and, and it's, it's a good thing. It yeah. really is. And, and we're hoping that, that that takes off. We would love for something like that to happen at all of our gates. And we thought that David Howard was the perfect person to start with to kind of set that caliber. You know, it needs to be someone who has devoted, you know, a, a large portion of their life to this celebration, who had a huge influence um, on it. Uh, you know, you're not going to name it after somebody like me. You know, somebody, somebody's got a long, a long standing here. And so uh, we think that caliber, that, that, that playing field has been set, and uh, we hope to match it and hope other people want to come in. It's a good it. level. Yes. It really is. Yes. Well, I know a lot of things are happening. Uh, we arrange for the Flat River Band going to yeah, play yeah. on the first Saturday night. Uh, I've talked to two or three other different ones, other sponsoring that. Uh, some of them are going to be using time. Allison Armstrong and, and Jake Jake are going to be using that time to hand out T-shirts and caps okay. and all yeah. this. So uh, the last time that was done, it was it was so crowded out there it wasn't funny. It's going to be right next to the BFW booth, so you can get good hamburger, pinto beans, whatever yep. you want, a donut right down the road, and come right in celebration. And that's before the show. That's right, take, before take, the show. Yep, that's about, it's going to go from an hour and a half to two hours before the show, yep. because then the Flat River's got to go sing the national anthem. We can't have a show without the national anthem. That's right. That's right. It. And, uh, and then that same night, we'll have a band in the Blue Ribbon Circle. Yep. Right. And so it, it, that, that will be, that first Saturday is, is going to be a big night. Uh, a big we're night. Start, you know, we're we're going to be starting at 4 o'clock, going all the way to midnight, I guess, on, hey, on music and fun. It, it, I used to be able to do that. I don't now. I have to get back to the <laughs> studio, but I know everybody yeah. over here is going to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Well, Warren, I really appreciate you taking time out because I know you're busy, and I'm sorry I couldn't get all them entries counted for you. Yes. But yeah. uh, I was asked this morning, the first email, how many entries? Okay. I told him I'd give, let them know in a couple of yeah. days. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and one other thing I hadn't mentioned right. that, that, I, that I just thought of, you know, it's, it's small things that we're changing. We're, we're, we're going to have uh, the barn decoration contest like we like we have right. in, in many, many years. And um, I've, I've kind of stepped up the uh, the prizes a little bit. And so um, one thing that uh, no one knows it yet, so this will be the first time, is we're going to give a Yeti cooler away to the barn the barn that wins with the Celebration logo on it. So I think that's, that, that's kind of more exciting. Uh, than we have in the past. And then something new that we're going to do um, is a golf cart decorating contest, too. So, right. uh, you know, golf carts have kind of come the, the way of life around here for the celebration. Everybody's getting one, and um, uh, you see them everywhere. So we, we're going we're gonna to implement that this year, too. And the winner of that gets a Yeti cooler with the celebration logo on it. And so uh, just some exciting stuff. Well, I will contribute to that. I'll give you a one-year flip ad that you can give away to the best barn. Okay. They can put their logo on there and we'll let her rip. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Can't beat that. No, you can't. Now I gotta come up with a flip ad, right? That's right. But it's gonna be, hey, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, you gotta come with a golf cart so we can decorate it. I, I, I got a golf cart coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna decorate it. All right, let's go to Summer Sizzler and watch these. We got some good victory passes. Question is, how many of these will make the celebration? I would say that'd be the first one right there. <laughs> right there, that'd be right the first there. one. Super first Bowl one. MVP. Yeah, you are right. She'll be there. B.B. Beasley. Them girls are something special. Oh, they are now. She'll get it done. Oh, yeah. They'll know she's there anyway. Let me put mm -hmm. it to you, you like exactly that. exactly right. Right there's Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith from Walden and Smith. That's another that's going to be there, and that right there is going to be in a run in big time. Oh, yeah.
Right there's that March Madness. Right there's the oh, three-year-old's oh, going to be there. He's going to be there. That's a good horse right there. Yes, he Real is. Real good. I'll tell you, that three-year-old class, it'll be... It'll be a special class. It sure will. It'll be a special class now. It's... But I like seeing a show like that. You know, when you go there and you have nine or ten good ones. Yep. That's in one class. I mean, it make it really exciting. Well, this right here, when you split it three ways, you know you're going to have a bunch in each class. So look, yeah, that's going to be a good thing. Well, you keep you confused because you look over here and say, boy, I think this one's going to win. Then you look around and then, oh, I believe this one here might be beating that one. That's it. And you just back and forth. There's a bunch of good ones, buddy. Yeah. No doubt about it. There's no doubt about oh, yeah. that when you come to that. All right. Do your job. We got to go. We're going to go to commercial and <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. All right, welcome back. I guess we better go to Marshall County and see what kind of victory passes. Oh, yeah. They had a good show. They had a good we, show, yeah. I'm going to tell you, we have, we have had some great shows here. Oh, yeah, we have. And Marshall County is just one of them. They, the last shows we've had... They were some quality horses. Yeah, they have up. been some real good horses. So, let's go to Marshall County and see what we got there. Mm -hmm. 
Daybreak. Yep. Knox Blackburn for Teresa Kincaid. Now that horse right there will be going in three-year-old Marion Guild and amateur to be. Yeah. Tell you one thing. Knox came back. He came back oh, loaded he from there. That's didn't right. He? You exactly right. It took him a couple of years to build that stock up, but now he he's got some contenders yeah. out there. And there's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Tell you what, now he, he's he, right there. He, he I'm going to predict he's going to wear a medal. Oh yeah. He just does too good a job riding. He's going to join us here on. Uh, the celebration used, Jerry. That'll work. I told him he can teach you something. That's maybe. right. He might can teach me a little something. He might teach us both something. Yeah. We don't watch it. He's a real good little rider there. He is. Now he real good. Horse. Yeah. Look who I am in Casey right now. Here's one of them two-year-old yeah. stallions. I don't know which ones are nominated for the maturity, yeah. but I'm going to call and see if I can't find out the number that's nominated. Yeah. And Dark Rain and Taylor Walters, I'm going to tell you what. We're going to hear from that one. Oh, yeah. i tell you what, she does too good a job in, in consistent, Jerry. Yeah. That, that's mm -hmm. a, one thing about Taylor and her horses. She's normally consistent when she's on them. That's a nice horse. They have, that family have a bunch of good horses. Oh, yeah, they got some good stock. Yeah. Real good stock. They have a bunch of good horses. Right there's the Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith Hart. For Smith and Hart. Yep. Oh, Kenny said that he sold his uh, quick stop market. Said someone else could get up and check the gas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good horse right there. Oh, yeah. She'd be in that ladies' marrying gilding division. Yep. You bet money on it. And you got honor and yes. salute. Amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan. Okay. That's another good one right there. Tell me about it. Kerry really impressed me that night because yeah. he showed that horse. I mean, he, he had people excited. Yeah, he showed him from the time he was in, from the time he come in to the time he left out. I did. He, he came in to show. Yeah. Presented that horse very well. Kerry's a super good guy, too, yeah. if you ever talk to him. Right here he is. People better watch out. He's back. And he is ready. Old Troubadour. Uh-huh. And Tyler Balkum. When he got back, he let people know that he's getting her done. Oh, yeah. That horse has been through a lot. Now, he has. He had been through a lot. But he showed he still got what it takes. Oh yeah, I probably should name him. His nickname should be Old Superman. No, he'd come hey. back. Well, you know they they suggested being put down and everything, but no. Yeah. Here's Joe Paul and Winky Groover. Here's one of the steak horses. Yeah. Question is, which one's going to be in the steak class, and which one's going to be in that canter class? Yeah, because that's that's one way of uh, having a separation there, but uh, and create some excitement because not all the Saturday the final Saturday night horses will be in that first Saturday night yeah. stud class. You can't ever tell. Yeah, you don't ever know. Some of them four-year-olds may say, "Heck, 
I'm going up. I ain't going to stay here. I'm going to go up and get something done. All right. Now we're going to go to Pulaski, Tennessee. And this is a good show. They had a, they had a great show mm -hmm. up there. A lot of good horses. Again, more horses came out that uh, some of them we hadn't seen. Some yeah. of them we had seen. But here's some more victory passes. Right there's I'm big enough and Maxine. That's a nice horse. Oh, yeah. Three-year-old Marion Gilded winner. Now, Robert will be showing that horse more than likely, but Tyler might come up and show him. They've done it before. Yeah. Celebration, shoot. A little dusty up there, yeah. too. Looks like it may have been that horse was walking so hot that it just brought up the smoke. Brought up the dust, that's right. Right there, I am the gentleman and Michael right now. Three-year-old stay. Yeah, that's another good one. And uh, this is owned by Billy Debbie Woods, too. Yeah. May end up with a brother against brother in some of these uh -huh. classes. Then they could be in separate classes for the splits. Yeah. And right there, Twisted with Honors, and Allison Armstrong. Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors. I don't want to say I'll be in one of them classes. Hey, sure will. It's a good horse, buddy. A real good horse. I would like to figure out which one of them horses would be in that novice class. That novice class would be a big class. Ooh. You know. It'd be loaded. Yeah. Right there, hey, right oh, there, yeah. form a line. Carol Baxter has really impressed me the way she shows the horse. Now. Oh, yeah. So nice. She gets with it. She doesn't mess around. No, she don't. Now, that horse there, that's, that was a horse was very impressive there oh, in yeah. Alaska. Very. Pretty thing, too. Yeah. I believe that's the first time she showed that horse. It there. is. Yeah. That was the first time she showed uh -huh. that one. Right there is El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs. Yeah. You know, we sit here and watch these videos and stuff like that, and you talk about the horses, the different way a horse goes. Mm -hmm. You can almost look at a horse and see what trainer trains him. Yep. Just by the way that the way that horse the way goes. The way the horse goes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All trainers got different ways of training different things. They got different. Right here, honor yeah. and remember. Now here's a four-year-old in the state class. Yes. And that's what people got to remember. Kim Lewis tickles me. She says, Jerry, I've raised too many kids not to know a four-year-old 
It's like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she said that. Yeah. But now I'm telling you, this one right here may show up in that state class. Yep, you're right. Great horses, no doubt about that. And you know, that's a Here good go. thing, because we, we've got some really great ones that, you, you, you'll have one that wins the World Grand Championship, but what if it was on a different night? That's right. Then it could have been somebody else, and, and that's what a lot of people miss, that it's that night. That night, that's the right. Night, the way they look that night is what's supposed to count. Yeah. And should count. And Jimmy proved that several years, a couple of oh, years yeah. ago. Gentle Mighty, nobody expected that. And Jimmy said, yep, he's ready. He's going. He's getting. And that's what right. did he do? He won it. That's right. All right. Now we're going to go to, we went to Pulaski. Now we're going to Belfast. There's Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware. <coughs> Tom's got two granddaughters and he had to separate the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar Silver Collector. Gracie did a good job of showing oh, that yeah. horse. She really did. And that's a good horse. That's a nice horse, real nice horse. Real nice. Belfast didn't have a lot of horses, but they had some good quality. Yeah, they did. Right here's a champ in Eli Cunningham. Had to get this one in here because that young man is going to come and be on the show with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, he showed he can ride them ponies as good as he can ride them big horses. Oh yeah. Good job, Eli. Right here's Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dolch. That horse there is a nice horse. Oh, Robert, he's very excited about this horse. What's that? That horse that made a real good show. I'll tell you what, that horse is bigger than I thought he was. Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. When you look at him from a distance, he doesn't look like he's that big, but when you get up close to him, he's a big horse. Yep. Here's title sweepstakes in Macy Ware. Her owner, Tom Ware. Tom's awful proud of them. Yeah. And you talk to him, you can... You can tell by the way he talks. Mm -hmm. He's awful proud of them girls. And that's good. I get carried away talking about my grandkids. Oh, too. yeah. Ain't nothing like them grandkids. Hey, I think I got the best ones in the world. Of course, you think you do, yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> I believe the, yeah, we're your, supposed to. your daughters or your sons get a little jealous of the grandkids sometimes. I am Bentley. And Becky Myatt, for Jerry and Becky Myatt, tell you what, I was tickled to death for Becky. She's, yeah. in, she's in there with a lot of good horses. She looked good then. Oh, yeah. The amateur two-year-old stallions and gildings, it was split. And right here is Jose, it ain't so. Jake Jacobs. Is she counter division? That's yeah. been a horse good for a long time. Oh, Lord. Now, he's still a stud. You may see yeah. him in mm -hmm. one of them classes. That's the whole thing. We don't, the, you way don't the, the way the celebration's done this, with no split on the first Saturday night stud class, but they got the stud class, the counter class for gilded mares and stallions. I'm gonna give you a little yeah. trivia. That horse right there, that's the only horse that'll beat I am Jose. Yeah, sure is. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Dale Watts had him. Yep. Sure did. Remember that well. All right, now we're going to go to Fedville, and uh, there's there's a special class over there. 
But uh, here we go. Right there's your two-year-old stallions. This is another one. This is another. Now this was a big class. Yeah. And this was the one Chapaca came out with the roses. Jimmy McConnell for Jones and Richards, but right there he was. But now it's going another way. It in in God's country, live Leverett for Amanda Leverett. Flicker and Lightning, Mickey McCormick. Grit and Grind, I like that name. Mm -hmm. Grit and Grind with Edgar Abernathy in the saddle for Glenda Nichols. And Jen Shockwave, Rico Bravo for Pikes and Logan. But now there's a bunch of good ones in oh, that yeah, class. it is. But I'm gonna have to say, I, I believe they reached down there and grabbed the right one because that Chewbacca looked oh, yeah. good and he kept getting better. better. Mm -hmm. The whole class, he kept getting better and better as he went. And that one did too. Oh yeah. It, Grit and Grime, I think it is, with Edgar. I thought he made a great show. There he is. Chewbacca. We was watching him and one guy was standing there and I said, you know that horse could get real good. And he said, wait until he turns around, he will. <laughs> And he was right. When he turned around, buddy, yeah. he was he was dancing in the moonlight. Right here is a grooms and farriers class. Now, hey, what more can you ask for? Yeah. Grooms and farriers. William Keith and Ron Allen. They just riding around. Old fast Eddie. What if he goes down to Mississippi to them shows they have down there? Old fast Eddie worked for Bal Balkum. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. They call him Fast Eddie. Uh huh. <laughs> Name is William Key. <laughs> fast Eddie worked for little everybody around the horse business. He must be quick. Yeah. Fast Eddie. You know, there was a pool shark named Fast Eddie. <laughs> he, uh, he played, he, Minnesota Fats, uh -huh. and him had a, uh, a battle with each other, and he, he finally beat Minnesota Fats, was his yeah. claim to fame. You know, at one time, this used to be a real big class. Oh Lord, I can remember they, when they'd have these classes. And they had one down in Tunica one year where the groom class was, uh, you could get, uh, what was it, $2,000 to the winner. Yeah. And a girl won it. Mm hmm. Out of uh, Herbert Derrickson's stable. Yeah. But we got Tornado Alley with William Chris, uh, Chris Keith, mm -hmm. and then Flirting in Dixie with Ron Allen. For Kim Honor. Yeah. Carry the Armand's horse, Tornado Alley. There he is, Fast Eddie. Yeah. All right, special by Jose and Jordan Dempsey. She she won a good class, amateur four-year-old staying class. You see, yeah. that's another. You you got this is an example. We've got great horses, amateur horses, that a lot of people overlook. Oh yeah. But really, they they good stock. Yeah, you're right. But they they did a great job. Oh yeah. Jordan mm -hmm. Jordan Dempsey can flat right. Oh yeah, she can. Now mm -hmm. Charles, he hadn't been coming to a lot of shows, but he's trying to downsize, he said. Yeah. He said he's getting too old, bull. <laughs> <laughs> he used to see him everywhere. Oh yeah. I think he's just hiding out. I believe so. Want um, to kick him back and make it easy. I'll tell you what. I'll let you do it. We'll be right back after these commercials. You're getting better and better. Yeah, that's right. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. I can reach one, so uh, get your cat off for me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 Got a little bit of five here, six. So, fifty-five hundred. You bought a fifty-five hundred. And so, left hundred mark call. Take a call. Left hundred. You bought. So, so, so. You break one. Break the next one. That's the real deal, guys. Right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Andy Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right that said is, but so, so, so. You bought it. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Hal in the second 11 and under class. Ali Jo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard the Haas and once again ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. We still got War Trace. Yes. War Trace had a heck of a show. Yeah, War Trace had a good show. I was worried because, buddy, I thought it was going to storm. Me too. And it I, did storm. Yeah. But uh, it blew right by them, kind of split when it got to War Trace. Yeah. Said, I'm going to go hit this bunch and that bunch, and I'm leaving that bunch. Much along. That's right. So we got a little sprinkle. But uh, they, all in all, they had a great horse show. So let's go watch some victory passes from Waltrace, Tennessee. Here's I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs, youth 11 and under winner. That was a nice little class oh, she yeah. was in. Now she was in there with some good, good horses and them kids cutting up in the lineup. Uh huh. Tickle me, they was out there just smiling and cutting up. It's just all about having fun. It is. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Honors to Mr. Guess yeah. and Jennifer Pendleton. That's now, nice they changed horse. this horse's name. You knew that, didn't you? Uh -huh. You know why? What? This trivia. Mr. Guess was Virginia's grandfather's name. Okay. So it was. And he, uh, she, she wanted to honor him, and I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. Virginia is just a super good lady. I don't care. 
what you say, how you cut it, anything else. Of course, yeah. ain't nobody ever said nothing bad about her. No, Virginia is a nice woman. She, she's, she's just very, a great person. She's super now. Yeah. And here's Jose's Ritzy Hawk and Emma Black yeah. for Evergreen Walking yeah. Horse Farm. She made a great show. I was tickled to death for her. You know, Virginia knowing this thing know. help them kids to have a show to show a horse and help everybody. Virginia helps everybody. Yeah, she does. I mean, she's, she's very involved with the Cancer Society, yeah. and she just uh, just a super good person. Yeah. Right here's a hey. Did you see the show he put on? Oh yeah, and he was in that was. That class was celebration. Uh -huh. I mean, it was. There, I've never seen so many good ones in a class. But that horse right there never backed up. No, he I just mean. kept hitting it. Just kept going. He is going to be hard to mess with when it comes celebration oh, yeah. time now. Because he, he there, doesn't look like there's an ounce of quit in him. No, he's a good horse. Yes, good he horse. is. a super good horse. Jake did yeah. a great job of showing him, too. He did. So, I mean, that was a, that whole the weekend from start to finish. Yeah. When it come to quality, we had it. We had the quality. Oh, yeah. When I doubt in my mind about it, there's quality all the way. So I'm looking for some good things come celebration time. Me too. And that's a tough class y'all were in. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have C.J. edit this out next week and show it. When y'all come in one, two, three. I was talking to Jeremy about it the other day. It's like y'all opened the floodgates to the barn. Nobody was home watching the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so just come on in. But he, he said just they had a good time. Oh, I had a blast now. Hey, I, was just... I seen you point at him when yeah. they called your number out for him. <laughs> you let him know I'm still the boss. That's, that's right. I seen that because <laughs> he, he just went on about it. Then he told me later on, he said, said well, I, I thought that Brad should have beat me because I got a little off, I thought. But so and so, I said, well, it is what it is. <laughs> but hey, it, it was fun just watching. Yeah, it was. Fun. I was sitting over having a good time just watching y'all because it was good. Well, Jerry, what's on the agenda now? Well, I guess we'll come back this next week with another wonderful show. That's it. You better tell everybody where you're located at now because you've moved all your horses to another barn. So make yeah, sure the, you ride um, the old Black Hawk, the Denali farm yeah. over there. I keep my well, I can ride inside for right now, but I'm still keeping all my boarding yeah. horses and coats yeah. over there. At, uh, yeah. Uncle well, Lewis. He, he's afraid it's gonna rain on him. Yeah, that, that's it. He's afraid it's gonna rain. He ain't gonna get to ride a horse. That's right. I don't blame. Him. I don't blame. It's good, but we'll we're gonna put another show together for next week because we got a lot of celebration contenders. Oh, yeah. We we're gonna have to go through, pick them out, point them out, talk about them. And then we'll make predictions. How's yeah, that? They're, they're right. That's you ready right. to go? Yes. All right. We'll see everybody next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.